on the scale of cheaters, yeah. uh, Jamaicans are at the top. Wow. Are you saying Jamaicans are the most unfaithful men? Yes, and I feel like that has to do with it's like in their DNA. So my experience um, <laughs> dating here has been uh, a little up and down, like had some good experiences, bad experiences. I know this one girl I was talking to for a couple days, like we just texting. I didn't even really go on a date with this girl. Mm -hmm. I, we were texting and she just, I wake up to a good morning text one day and she's just like, oh, good morning, please. Can you send me 1,000 CDs? And wow. Like, and how long did you know that girl? Two, three days. Wow. It's, it's wild. Guys, as you can see, I do have two diasporans in the building. They moved from, you know, one came from America and one moved from Canada. And they are here in Ghana. And we're going to have, a, you know, a relationship talks. I'm going to ask them, how is it like dating in Ghana, moving from Canada or the U.S.? How is the dating scene like? And, uh, yeah, if it's something that you'd be interested to, you know, I'm saying, watch, stay tuned. And I, without further ado, I do have two special people. I have Portia here in the building. If you don't know who she is, we had an episode you know, right there, it will be somewhere. You can go watch it if you've not already watched it. It was trending everywhere, being controversial. And I do have Michael in the building. Michael is, is one of my team members, and then he's a musician, if you don't know who he is. So without further ado, please briefly introduce yourself to the you know, people watching for the first time. Okay, should I go first? Mm -hmm. All right, so I, I'm Michael. My musician name is Kayvon. I'm a producer, abstract, hip-hop, uh, rapper, singer, all that type of stuff, um, content creator, and uh, happy to be here. And I'm Portia Ghana. I'm a model, uh, actor, writer. I have a non-profit organization. I have a travel and tour company and an online clothing store. This is one of my things that I sell. So, yeah. And I'm the host for the show. So without further ado, let's dive in. Relationship in Ghana, Portia. The last time you were on the show, you said Ghanaian men are not faithful. <laughs> and then people came for, you know, Khadija was also on the show. Yeah. And then you were on the show, and they came for you guys. Yeah, they, and I don't know why, like, why? If you are faithful, mm -hmm. then fine, be faithful. Mm -hmm. Who say? But everybody knows mm -hmm. the majority of Ghanaian men mm -hmm. are not faithful. So is it like different culture? Because you're moving from Canada. Is it like the dating life in Canada is way different from, you know, the oh, dating in Canada? It's definitely much different. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I mean, in Canada, there's lots of immigrants mm -hmm. there. So it, I don't know if I can, okay, I'll say the, the Caucasians mm -hmm. in Canada are more timid in the dating scene. The, the immigrants, in, which is usually the Nigerians, are the most, uh, most what word am I going to use? <laughs> most... Aggressive. Plus aggressive mm -hmm. in the dating scene, and then it trickles down to the other mm -hmm. other types. The Jamaicans, ooh, let's not go to the Jamaicans. Why? It's Why not? The the on the scale of cheaters, yeah, uh, Jamaicans are at the top. Wow, are you saying Jamaicans are the most unfaithful men? Yes, and I feel like that has to do with it's like in their DNA because it in Jamaica was the place for um, slave uh, breeding. Mm -hmm. So first of all, the, the, the people, all the slaves that were in Jamaica were the ones that were the troublesome ones. Mm -hmm. They just tossed them there. Mm -hmm. And then they would also just use them to, to produce more more slaves. Wow. So it was, it, so I think. So they had multiple women, is that what you're saying? They would force them to sleep with multiple people and ha give birth to them. It didn't matter if there was even a relation or not. Mm -hmm. So I think those things go into your DNA mm -hmm. and they pass on. So, mm -hmm. so they will just inherently still do those things. Like how they don't even know why, but they're going to have babies with five, six different women. They don't even know why. They love their wife. <laughs> they don't just keep going to go and just sleep around. Like I Jamaican like, men. Jamaican men are, everybody knows Jamaican hey. men at the top. And then Nigerian men hmm. and then Ghanaian men. In wow. The, in the cheating scale. Wow. <laughs> guys, seriously. Seriously. Jamaican guys are going to come for you. Let them come. <laughs> they won't even deny it. Like, wow. Know. 
Michael, what has been your dating experience? You've been yeah. like a man and you know what I'm saying, like going on dates <laughs> with ladies. What have been like your worst um, experience ever? Shoot, man. Well, first I gotta say, I'm, I'm glad I don't, as in America, they say you don't have a dog in the fight. I don't got a dog in the fight because she's saying Jamaicans, Scotlands, and oh, Nigerians. I, I so I'm American, so I don't have. Americans But have we, we, we under there. We, we not. Above I mean, there, American you know, men you know. faithful. Bump that American men don't cheat. Well, <laughs> <that's a lie>. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so my experience um, dating here has been uh, a little up and down, like has some good experiences, bad experiences. I know this one girl I was talking to for a couple days, like we just texting. I didn't even really go on a date with this girl. Mm -hmm. I, we were texting and she just, I wake up to a good morning text one day and she's just like, oh, good morning, please. Can you send me 1,000 CDs? And wow. Like, and how long did you know that girl? Two, three days. Wow, it's, it's wild. And you were, like, you were trying mean, to date or like trying. I to wasn't even trying to. I was just okay, like getting to know you, like kind of on that stage, just kind of. So her. you're trying to say Ghanaian? Is, was she a Ghanaian? Yeah. And yeah. she just asked you money, just thousands after three days of money. meeting you. Because I feel like. Wow. Like, <laughs> did did she say send me Momo? Is that what she said? No, she was like, uh, please. I think she was asking because like. Or her mother was sick or something like like something was that. Wow, but Ghanaian ladies. You always hear that in Ghana. Oh, someone's sick. Oh, I'm in the hospital. Oh, this. Oh, that. So really? You always hear that. But yeah, no, it, it's a very strong sense of. Hey, like, Ghanaian women. <laughs> wait, what? 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 Wait, wait, it's wait, the wait. truth. Yes, hmm. this is the truth mm -hmm. of a certain um, demographic mm -hmm. or um, financial mm -hmm. class of women. Mm -hmm. Because women are here, the dating scene is transactional. Right. I was People say that. are not yeah. taught mm -hmm. about dating, oh. about getting to know people. They're not taught any of that at all. A car is not for love, it's for, it's for business. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm not saying it's not that. It should be. It should be everything. Mm -hmm. But That's they the don't. They, they don't push that at all. So everybody is taught that you should be this way. Mm -hmm. And and even when you're not, like, mm -hmm. where you're like me, sometimes, sometimes I look back, I look back at these, my exes, and I get so irritated. Mm -hmm. Because I think, damn, I should have collected some money from these people because they had the money, but I didn't. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so inherently... Uh, you were in love. You know, it, it, trying to be a certain way, mm -hmm. like have these morals and mm -hmm. all these things. Mm -hmm. well, well, who who does that help? <laughs> Where did that get me? Because, you know, I could have gotten a house. Someone, mm -hmm. someone wanted me to have a house in Chisaco. Someone wanted to get me a car. So really? I, people wanna, I, I've dated people who are, who are fairly wealthy, but I haven't taken a, one penny from them. And mm. then I'm like, and then I see these, these girls, they got land, they got this, they got this and that and that from people who aren't even as wealthy as some of these people have dated. And I'm like, maybe you should that. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> the same girl that was asking me for money, like yeah. she probably went and asked another guy for it and got it. Why so people are like, using that as a business now, isn't it? Because the and when you don't, a lot of these people, you know, even someone was having, one of my boyfriends was having real issues with me because mm -hmm. I didn't ask for things. Me, I'm a type of person, you, should give me something if mm -hmm. you want to give me something. No, yeah, I'm okay. never gonna go in. I, I beg you mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. do what you want. Like you should have that sense. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna be upset. Like I'm too independent. Mm -hmm. I'm not this and this. Like shower me with money, rain, <laughs> make give me gifts and all these things. I shouldn't mm -hmm. have to ask you. And then they'll tell you that there's something wrong with you or you're mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. And when you don't do it, so the girls are told to ask for money. And that's why they do what and they then, do. And and that if you're talking to someone, the transaction is money. Mm -hmm. If you sleep with the person, mm -hmm. money. If they like, if they so, th and then the men are also being taught that mm -hmm. the women are there for sex. Mm -hmm. You give them sex and you give them money. Mm -hmm. they, they don't have sense of getting to know somebody, thinking of like, are we compatible, mm -hmm. or do I even like them? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, her body. Your body is nice. Come, let me chop and yeah, get can to go. That's the that's the that's how relationships are here. Wow. Transactional and surface. Michael, what well, what was some of the culture shock in dating scene in mm, Ghana when you? Well, that first of all, yeah. is the oh yeah, transactional because like that's why I'm saying American men because 
I feel like I like when a woman is independent. I like when she doesn't need me to ask for whatever things. Like she can go and get it on her own. Like that's sexy to me. Like mm-hmm. I love when a girl can just you know get things on her own. Now I would love to spoil her. I would love to give her things, but I would also like for her to get those things for herself too, mm-hmm. or be able to, you know. So that was a culture shock. Just like having the experience of like, oh wow, like you just I just mm-hmm. met you and you just mm-hmm. met asking me for money and all this stuff like. It's crazy. I just we, met you. Here's a thousand feet. Yeah. yeah. That's you, were, you, were you expecting to see Ghana, you mean the dating scene here in Ghana to be what it is, or are you expecting something else? I, I don't know what I was expecting. Mm-hmm. It, it was just kind of like, I just know I was shocked to see that. <laughs> I, I don't really, I don't think I was expecting anything specifically. Either. Really? Yeah. Wow. Is. What has, you know, what are some of the misconceptions about dating here in Ghana, Africa, you've heard? Misconception? Yeah. Um... I think a lot of people think when they see someone dating a foreigner that they're trying to get a green card. Mm. And it's, and I'm not saying that people aren't dating to scam, but it's usually it's not. Ghanaians, for the most part, love Ghana. Mm-hmm. They love the easy life in Ghana. So, yes, th- there's a high percent of some of them are dating a foreigner. Mm-hmm. So that they can be supported in Ghana. Mm, the mm. person can send them money. And things. Mm. Not necessarily so that they can go to America and go and struggle with the with the foreigner. Really? So I see a lot of people, they they be dating these these uh, foreigners. Mm-hmm. But then they also have their boyfriend or girlfriend in Ghana. Mm-hmm. So they want to maintain their Ghana lifestyle and just be funded by foreigners. So mm-hmm. you might be getting played mm-hmm. and you might be a bank account. Mm-hmm. Um, that that, it, but it's not as as much as people have you, perceive it to be. Have you ever been a well. bank account to any guy? <laughs> oh, when I was uh, a long time ago, I, I've been one one time and one time only. I did it, and I said never again. I don't know what was wrong with me. What were some of the things the guy was asking you? Oh, no, it wasn't in Ghana though. Oh, okay. It wasn't in Ghana. What was it? It was in Canada. And the person was a Ghanaian, or an he African. Wasn't he was half Ethiopian, half Eritrean. Wow, so you were the sugar mommy. <laughs> me, which was so funny. I, I just decided, no, I said one summer mm-hmm. I wanted to have like a arm candy type boyfriend. Mm-hmm. You know, I just wanted a summer fling. I wanted to try all the different types of dating. So that, that year I wanted to do the whole summer fling. Because me, I don't have time for relationship. Um, during, during university, I knew like when school starts i don't have time for those kind of things so i said let me just try those summer things this guy was very attractive everybody liked him he was stepping to me and then he was a broke as a joke so <laughs> wow he would like i would like be the one spending money all the time and then even mm-hmm. when the summer ended and i kind of like okay bye mm-hmm. he wouldn't he wouldn't let me break up with him wow <laughs> because the money was so good <laughs> it wasn't that i was spending big money on him i was just the one who would like wow pay for dinners pay for stuff but wow it was just michael that's sugar mommy vibes <laughs> and that, i was that's, that's young and i was vibes. young and he was yeah and in fact mm-hmm. you know what i specifically dated him because he was attractive and i knew he was stupid mm-hmm. mm. so i knew what i was getting like <laughs> had, so at it, least you it, got that you it, knew what you were getting yeah. so i mean you can't even so be it's mad. just the same as you when know. men are dating men date women for their beauty mm. and then are upset with having to pay for that beauty mm. Mm. like what what are you bringing mm-hmm. to that relationship mm-hmm. If you're you're okay with being superficial and being transactional and feeding on her her youth, her beauty, her time, but oh, but she should not be a gold digger. So what are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's usually an older man. So mm-hmm. you're not bringing youth. Mm-hmm. You're not bringing beauty. Mm-hmm. So what are you bringing? Mm. She should love me for me in my heart. Are you loving her for her in her heart? You're loving her for her physique, mm. but she should not be able to love you for your wallet. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's the problem I have here with mm-hmm. the Ghanaian, especially the Ghanaian dating scene. Mm-hmm. They're very, they're very confused mm-hmm. and very um, one-sided and like it's all about them, like what they want. They don't care about what the woman wants mm-hmm. or whether the woman even likes them. 
but then they're upset when the woman treats them poorly. Wow. Michael. That's a bar. Mm-hmm. No, no, she's, she's spitting right now. Like, I, I think, yeah, definitely 100% everything you said, like, there's a, a strong sense of, okay, like, does this woman look good? Can I have sex with her? Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and, you know, not really much stronger sense of, like, okay, can I build with this woman? Mm-hmm. Like, is there uh, any potential in a family with this woman? Mm-hmm. Like, can I, and I'm not even really thinking about that mm-hmm. for myself. Yeah. But, like, other men, you know, like, Not, not still, even to that point, even, like, even to this day, mm-hmm. even yesterday, some guy, this guy, if some other people would be jumping on the person's wealthy, I think they make like, they make even a month a million dollars. Some mm. this person's wealthy. I cannot stand them for the life of me mm. because, and I don't know why they still keep messaging me. <laughs> I've made it clear, no, because I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm saying. We are not remotely compatible mm. in terms of our personality. Mm-hmm. Like, all we do is clash and argue. Why mm-hmm. can you not understand that we can't be in a relationship? That's mm. not a culture thing. That's all men, I feel like, don't know. Like, no, when you mm-hmm. say no. Like, that's most men just don't Why understand. Why are you still no, trying like, to pursue yeah. someone that you can't even have a calm conversation with and be happy? Like, you guys just want to argue. You guys just have issues. So why? Why, why, why? No. And there's so many mm-hmm. men like that. Like, there's so many men like that. Because I ask them a simple question. Do you even know my name? Do you even know if you like me? Mm-hmm. Like, all you saw is my the- physique. And I know I have a good exterior mm-hmm. and I'm an ideal type for most people. Mm-hmm. But... It, it has to go further than that because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you can't just be thinking with your dick and then because then then what <coughs> after so if if i even if i even hook up with you how would you feel mm-hmm. like somebody who is not attracted to you or who doesn't like you is sleeping with you how does that make you feel guys don't care though no, yeah we, no we just we yeah <laughs> we getting some we getting some some play at the end of the day it's not really it doesn't matter yeah like, girls think differently but guys were like oh we getting laid like we don't care if we actually like them or not yeah it's just kind of like okay let's say like, your your Ghanaian future girlfriend is watching this video now yeah what what is like your type of, of woman okay I like I like a female that can get it how she wants like mm-hmm. like can get it on her own like obviously I want to give you things I want to spoil you I want to you know shower you with gifts all that stuff but if you can get it by yourself without me Mm -hmm. that's the most attractive thing to me when you just like oh you can lay it all out like baby i got you with these season tickets or whatever like i I got you like let me give me a car like what like oh like i can get you a car but you get me a car like Mm -hmm. what like man i like them you know Pasha, what do you think? Yeah. You want a 50-50 like reciprocal no, relationship. I, I wouldn't say well, yeah, it has to be it has to be 100-100. It doesn't have to be 50-50. It has to be 100. Well, or technically what I think, you can correct me if I'm wrong. What mm-hmm. I think I'm hearing you say is it's not going to be 50-50. You you want to support somebody who is able to already support themselves. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I don't want a girl to have to rely on me for whatever. Um, Their basic little necessities. But you're still, but are you still going to pay the rent for the place where you're staying? And pay the bills and stuff? Right, yeah, you're yeah, gonna, yeah. You're yeah. still going to be like the man of the house. That's a given, yeah. Taking care of all the stuff. Yeah, so absolutely. then do you expect her to be the, like, cleaner and cook and uh, and minding of the house i don't expect anything i shoot i cook i cook for my lady Mm -hmm. you know um i love to cook for and that's another thing where it's like equal like Mm because i feel like we can we can add to each other in that way it doesn't have to be like oh i'm expecting you to do this this and this um because i'm not that type of traditional type thinker when it comes to relationships so you want a partnership but she has to just also be independent that's yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's like a huge thing for me because it's like if you can't get it on your own, but also like some so many things like I like a thin waist, pretty face, breath mm-hmm. gotta smell like toothpaste. All that, like, <laughs> okay, <straight> boy. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But do you think you, you see him getting any girl like that here easily, according to his description? Oh uh, yeah, he 
could. It's not that. Let's be realistic here. In Ghana. In Ghana, yeah. It depends. It's your dating pool is your problem. Like that girl that you... Mm. She, right away, I would know the type of girl she is. Mm-hmm. Was she some young local girl right. that hasn't traveled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's another thing too. I like women that have traveled too because I feel like the intelligence level is just like mm-hmm. higher, like compared to girls that have just been in one place. Yeah, world. every ev- in every country, someone who hasn't traveled has less of a yeah, scope yeah, yeah. of things. So I like that. Um, but uh, w- the things that he wants and what he's saying is not what the average mean man wants. Mm -hmm. They say they want something in theory and in practice it's not the same. Mm -hmm. So like uh, the average man I'm hearing they want somebody who they want a 50-50 partnership yet in the household they want the woman to still do to be submissive and to do that. still be doing the whole housewife duty. Mm-hmm. Be- as if, because a lot of these men don't realize or they don't acknowledge uh, house minding as a full time job. What is house minding? Mm. Taking care of a household. Oh, okay. Even the basics, everything to do with taking care of a household. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ha- taking care of a household is more than a full time job because it's almost 24 hours. And if you a have day. kids? Yeah. Like it, raising kids. Is a f- double full time job. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have a nanny, hum- see how expensive nannies are. Well, in the rest of the world, in Ghana is a little bit more affordable. Mm-hmm. But see, uh, a nanny is a job, a cook is a job, mm-hmm. a cleaner is a job, mm-hmm. uh, uh, someone who manages the finances of a home is a job. So, they expect a wife to do these four full time jobs at the same time while also having an external source income to help in the household. So then, at the end of the day, their spouse is working 20 hours a day. They're just working eight hours a day at their job. And then they come home and they're frustrated with their spouse of why she isn't energetic, why she isn't happy with me, why she's not sleeping with me, why are the things not done how I want. While you're only doing eight hours of work, you're not, you're not doing your role with your parenting, you're not taking care of your children, you're not helping her m- with your own house, you're not helping her with anything other than just tossing some money at her and then being frustrated. So they, I think they need to figure that out and understand that you can't have your cake and eat it too. Either either you have a housewife who is a housewife and you fully support them, and that means that you fully support them. You don't use money as a weapon against them because a lot of men also do that. They use the fact that they provide for the house as a weapon against the wife and control and they don't they won't give her money for any of the most basic things and will just use it as a weapon and mm-hmm. then and then the woman is fully dependent on them and it's an issue meanwhile they've got their whole girlfriend side chick off to the side and they're just throwing mm-hmm. the money on her mm-hmm. which is so sad wow and, and so like i think we need to Reevaluate ourselves. Either mm-hmm. you want a 50 50 partnership where mm-hmm. you guys are equal, or you have a uh, you are the sole breadwinner mm-hmm. and she is the, the provider of the home, mm-hmm. or you figure that out and you find somebody who is already wanting what you want. Mm. You don't find somebody who wants something else and then try and beat them into what you want. Mm-hmm. Why? Like Ghanaians, why? So that we need to work on that. And then I'm, I'm talking a lot. I know I'm ranting and I'm talking a lot. But what, like what I just said about how like the Ghanaian men will have like their wives at home and they're not catering to them. And then they're catering to their side chicks. That's one big difference I see with how Nigerians are like, versus how Ghanaians are. Because they, y'all are cheaters, fine. You're cheaters and you cheat. But I see that the Nigerians will at least make sure that their wives at home are well taken care of. Hmm. 
and then they have their five different girlfriends mm -hmm. who are stressing their lives out and but they're still well taken care of but Ghanaians can't manage hmm. their wife is looking a mess in the house and then their girlfriend is living in East Ligon apartments mm -hmm. living the best life mm -hmm. like why Ghanaian you need to do better now this is interesting <laughs> I've, I've shot you at first. <laughs> this is interesting. But, I mean, hmm, they are more excited to be with a side chick than their, their male wives. Because they're not investing in their male wives. Mm -hmm. Like, you're dumping all this negativity into your wife, and then you get upset that she isn't looking fresh, mm -hmm. doesn't have the weave, doesn't have bone straight hair, makeup, all these clothes. Have you bought your wife makeup? Have you got her, have you told her to go to the salon, go get her hair done? Mm -hmm. Have you done any of the things I met. I met someone you? who said he knew a couple who the man is married to his wife, but he knows that man will never be faithful. So she's the one actually looking for the side chick for her husband. Oh yeah, that, I think that is good. If you are, if you know what it is that you're getting into that knowing very well how much he's going to spend money on the girl yeah if if you have your know what is okay for you mm -hmm. like i we don't need to be forcing monogamy on people mm -hmm. polygamy is 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 also a thing mm -hmm. polygamy is is okay but polygamy does not mean a lot of people just think polygamy means you can just fuck around it still has parameters mm -hmm. michael do you think you can you can do polygamy i think i could do it. i will know <laughs> <laughs> i i will i would say at this point in my life right now uh i feel like if i was with the girl and she had other like men partners. she was met yeah like she had other partners how am I gonna say, oh, like I got a problem with that when I got other females that I'm dealing with? Mm -hmm. So like, I'm not gonna say like, if the communication was there and we said, okay, we're gonna only be with these people, and that's one thing, but it's a completely different thing if I hate double standards, right? Mm -hmm. So I hate to be the one to be like, oh yeah, like you can't be with none of these women or men when I'm over here with other women. So like, I feel So like, you feel like if you cheat, your woman should also cheat? Yeah, I mean, no, it's that, not I, cheating like, when you're in an open right, relationship. Right? Yeah, 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 or whatever you call yeah. an open relationship. I think I still think it's cheating if you are in. No. <laughs> if, you define, if you have the communication and you, you say, "Oh no, I just, cheating. I just, hey, I don't know." I, I, well, the what the word is double is? standard, ladies and gentlemen. It's double standard. Everything. See, you cheating don't want is. To have an opinion about this. Listen. Cheating is what. <laughs> cheating is. What? Why should you go see somebody else? Why? If you love me, though. If you have the communication to say that y'all going to do that. So then what is the point? If you yeah. want to be with somebody else, why don't you just go be with somebody else and I will also be with somebody else? Maybe you like, you can't like different things? If I like blueberry ice cream and vanilla ice cream at the same time, I can't like both? Women are different from ice cream, brother. <laughs> I mean, no, they, they're not all too different from ice cream, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you can do. Not really. Human beings are that way. Like, yeah. We like one, different things, bro. We are... We are fluid mm -hmm. and we are we have different layers to us mm -hmm. um so and there's eight billion people on this planet you think it's only one person that you're going to be in love with mm -hmm. in your life mm -hmm. even in every country in every city mm -hmm. with the right um just with the right formula you can follow let me ask you this question let's say you're going to a dating uh, relationship with a guy and he came clean on a date she told you she looked into your eyes he said Portia. I'm just going to be honest with you, but I think my body count is at least 100 for the past, you know, two, three years. Are you going to say now nah, or is like, I'm down, let's no, roll? No, if your body count doesn't matter, like, okay, even, let me do math and break it down, mm -hmm. if, if people even care. So, somebody has slept with 100 people in three years. Mm -hmm. Three years is how many days? Mm -hmm. it's about over a thousand days. Mm -hmm. A thousand days, a mm -hmm. hundred people. So that's nine hundred days that they didn't sleep with people. Which is fair. <laughs> or or they slept with the same person over and over. Like so what? <sighs> like even if they slept with it, 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 what somebody does in their past, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if their present mm -hmm. is not affected. Like okay, 
if you don't have like mm -hmm. uh, if you worked on whatever psychological mm -hmm. issues you had of mm -hmm. why you had multiple partners mm -hmm. if you don't have the diseases that you're dealing with because mm -hmm. of those multiple partners mm -hmm. like if there's nothing residual if you don't have a million kids with all those people if there aren't residual consequences mm -hmm. of your sexual mm -hmm. activities that's not going to affect me and my present i don't care okay let me wait i understand michael he went on a date listen this is the body that you've been you've been she's the one oh, man. Heavy, beautiful, that, pretty way, face, that's, that's right? The I understand. Pretty face. It's like mm. she's the one, and she's like, right, "Listen, right, right, right. I know what you're looking for, but I'm a woman. You know, I like what I like, and I've, you know, for the past year, I, I think I'm, I'm going to thirty bodies. Mm. I gonna still be okay, but wait, what if I've had thirty bodies too? I don't know. Maybe you've had hundred. That's what I'm and saying. And then she came clean to like, you. What is it gonna be? If, if I've had the same thing, mm -hmm. then it's like... Let's okay. say you had one for the last two years and she had 30. Let's listen, man. W what is it going to be? I'm just like, okay, like, how do we go on? Like, I don't... I don't but she's honest. What does she's her past have to do with her present? No, no, I'm just trying to see where his mind is Look, at. Man, is yeah. it going to be like... Especially now. Is it going to be like, like yeah, I'm, sure, I'm but whatever. I'm being single. Like, whatever number is whatever number. Like, I don't even... So, would it make a difference or would you be like, fuck it, let's just do it? Not to me. Especially because I'm not even looking for like I'm in my twenties, mm -hmm. I'm single. What's up? Like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time. Like at this point, I'm like whatever. Like, right. so let's say your 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 future girlfriend is watching. Mm -hmm. Send a message to her right now. Hey, uh, have a good credit score. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, we we gonna see, I'm gonna see you when I see. You. So, like, I think anybody who ever has an issue with body count or even thinks to speak about body count is somebody who is just very insecure. Because, one, if, if some, I've heard some men in these podcasts talking about women and their body count that they're, it's like they're scared that the woman has experience. Like, if it's good for a woman to have sexual experience, so that they know what they what pleases them because a lot of women don't know and then they get very sexually frustrated in their relationships and that resonates and they they have resentment towards their partner you don't even know why you don't know what you're doing wrong it's because you're you're doing two pumps and you're done or whatever who knows or you're not doing something that and but she doesn't know what it is that you're not doing because she doesn't even know her body a lot of women they haven't even seen their vaginas. They don't know. They don't know where mm -hmm. certain body parts are. We don't get taught. We're very stifled. We don't get taught a lot of things. So, like, the uh, uh, a lot of men are like, oh, she's got a big body count. Then how is uh, how am I gonna compare? Cause they in their mind they already know they're not good enough. So mm -hmm. they think she'll be every time she's sleeping with them, she's comparing them to past. Uh, sexual encounters that sh she's had so that's just your insecurity so work on it be learn learn how to please a person communicate and don't be so insecure that's another double standard too like a lot of women will act like oh yeah like this man will ha have this many sexual partners and then when they get with them and they don't have that many sexual partners they're like oh he's bad at sex but it's like He's the one who only had, like, he never done this up until, like, one, two times, and then you're expecting it. Interesting. Guys, yeah, this... That's assumed. That's yeah, assumed. Yeah, yeah, guys yeah, yeah. Guys flex think. like they... Oh, yeah, 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 no, for sure. For oh, sure. Like, flex. yeah, I'm that nigga or whatever. Guys, but. guys, <laughs> let's just... This conversation is getting interesting. If you do want us to continue our uh, part two, please leave it in the comment section below. She is Portia. Her social is on the screen. And that's Michael, guys. You know go on follow them on instagram check them out music is making music if you think you're the person for michael please lady just slide in the dm single ready to mingle single ready to mingle let's go are you also single yeah but i don't know about ready now she mingle. didn't say that with confidence hold yeah. on no, <laughs> no, like, no, no. like, like yeah maybe i don't know I'm single. Okay. I'm single. guys i'm single too but i'm not ready to mingle so don't hit me up just just let me be unless you're like this billionaire prince no in fact Funny enough, mm -hmm. let me not even say it. <laughs> my ex uh, was something along those lines, and I still your ex is a billionaire, and you broke up with him. The son of a billionaire. That is the I title of the video. My ex ah, is a no. billionaire, and I still broke up with him. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been an amazing episode, and if you love episodes like that, 
please let me know we're going to have more dialogue about dashman dating in ghana and how the dating scene is like so if it's something you rock with please just comment down below and we're going to bring you more videos like this so without further ado guys do you have a final message for the people if you want to be polygamous be polygamous if you want to be monogamous be monogamous just be truthful that's all and Michael, we're not rocking with double standards over here. So, yes. look, do your thing. All right, guys, thank <laughs> you so much for watching, and uh, let's say bye bye to them. Bye. Peace out.